What's up, people? I just wanted to make a video and touch on something real, real fast. I was having a conversation with um, another XJW. Um, Y'all got to excuse me. I just got done exercising, so I'm just want to. I want to make this video while it's fresh in my mind. But um, what what would happen like if right now the organization was done? The Jehovah's Witnesses were just finished. That's it. They came on the news, and they. I don't know what it would take, but maybe. Maybe like, you know, on some national news, they say we've got some secret recordings of Jehovah's Witness governing body admitting it's all fake and that they're taking their members for a ride. You know, it would probably take something like that to just instantly um, kill it as opposed to like the slow death that seems to be happening now where, where more and more people seem to be waking up. More people are, especially during this pandemic, um, getting to know videos, getting to know some XJWs and stuff like that. But what what would it what would happen? You know what I mean? Um, let's say they found out they were doing something criminal and like the, the, the feds raided them or something. So what would happen next? So obviously the people in the governing body would be in jail, right? And sadly, um, a lot of witnesses would take that as being part of Armageddon. They would probably say Armageddon's here because, you know, they've always conditioned witnesses to say the government's going to turn against you so some witnesses would would take that to mean you know armageddon is here um so they need to go into hiding they need to do their plans whatever all their different congregation plans are but the people whoever's left at bethel would probably be sent home you know they probably wouldn't be arrested too i would think probably just the leadership would be uh people in bethel would be sent home um people in the let's say they just confiscated all the kingdom halls um and said that that you know it's it's part just like they would do with like a drug dealer or something they confiscate their cars and houses and say it's part of an investigation uh proceeds may be used for restitution to victims or you know whatever the case may be so that's all done um let's say they get into the files and they find out all the secret pedophiles and um they go arrest them too. So they're in jail, governing bodies in jail, uh, facilities in, in Bethel are confiscated, Kingdom Halls are confiscated. Then you just got the average everyday witness walking around. So what do they do? You know what I mean? What, what would happen to them at that point? So I, I would say that as, as bad as it is, I think... I think there would be like a suicide issue with some of the people who um, are very emotionally tied in. I really think there would be an issue where some people would probably do some dark things. You know what I mean? Um, uh, sadly, I wouldn't want to see it happen, but you know, I, I think that that would be a concern. Then you're going to have a whole bunch of other people just not knowing what to do, not knowing where to go. They're probably not going to go to a church because they've been so conditioned to believe that that's evil. So they wouldn't do that. Um, they they wouldn't be able to go to the kingdom hall. They wouldn't be able to take, you know, leadership that they rely on from the governing body to, to do everything. Um, they wouldn't be able to get any of that. Um, so what would they do? I don't know. That's, that's, that's what I was talking with a friend about what would happen. You know what I mean? And on the flip side of that, what will happen to the XJW community? Because as it grows, there's so many, so many channels out there. Um, a, a lot of people really are heartfelt, and then there's some that aren't. There, there's some, you know, XJW channels that are trying to capitalize on the momentum and jump on the bandwagon. You know what I mean? But um, a lot of them really are trying to help individuals. But um, it's kind of a symbiotic relationship. Uh, the yin and the yang, right? So, so we kind of need the organization for us to go against the organization. Once they're dead, the enemy's gone. So, what will happen? You know, the there's a lot of people that put a lot of time and effort into these channels um, and make some really, you know, nice productions and things. What what would they do? You know, um, what would happen to the to the movement of XJWs? Um, I'm just hypothetical questions but we were having kind of a deep conversation about the trajectory that we thought you know both things would go on and what would happen to current witnesses what would happen to ex-witnesses 
what would happen to the XJW community. Um, you know, it's just interesting. Just just some food for thought, something to think about. So what you think would happen? You know, what what do you think would happen to the the, the average everyday witness in the Kingdom Hall? Would they find a church? Would they try to organize as a as a new religion? You know, would they um would they just say forget religion? Um, you know, what would happen? And and uh what do you think would happen to the XJW community? I think there's a lot of people that would need help more than ever. Um, you know, there for the channels that are really trying to help people learn and wake up, um, for the channels that just bash the governing body. I mean, there'd be nothing left to bash, you know what I mean? It, it'd be kind of like, okay, you won now what, you know what I mean? So just some interesting, interesting conversation I was having. Just wanted to make a quick video about it. You know, leave your comments, send me an email if you want to talk about anything. Um, y'all have a good day.